I don't think it makes sense how Gravik died. I understand that Gra Gaia was using, you know, her smarts by having a plan to win and combining certain powers and abilities. I get that, but what I don't really get is how he was actually able to die. Number one, it doesn't really matter how charged up a power is, it's the damage that it deals that matters. So, you could charge up a power for days, but if you only take out someone's left hand, for example, it doesn't really matter how charged up the ability was. So, um, and I think blowing up one's stomach, especially Gravik, shouldn't kill them instantly because I'm pretty sure he already had some form of power enabled to give them a bigger form. Uh, and that would have came with durability and also his extremist ability to regenerate as well. Um, also, I said in a comment on IG that I'm pretty sure they should both have a lot more durability, strength, speed, reflexes, and everything that has to do with the physiology normally. But that's if the power works in one of two ways. Um, the first way is that if it actually changed their DNA by using the harvest, and so you have a complex mix that includes every person from the harvest. And for example, if you had Captain America, Thor, Captain Marvel, and Thanos DNA, you wouldn't need to activate enhanced durability, strength, and speed. Just the same way that Wolverine doesn't need to activate his claws to heal, or how Flash doesn't need to run faster to heal faster as well. Or it could be that um, it only gave the scrolls the powers from the DNA samples. So instead of having strength right out the bat, Gaia would need to activate a mode, sort of, in order to use enhanced durability and strength, etc., depending on the sample. Um, for example, she would need to activate the powers of Captain America to use his durability or use Captain Marvel's powers to get even more durability as well. Basically, like Sage Mode from Naruto to have stronger punches and stuff like that. But, I don't know, I mean, I feel like... You wouldn't need to activate non-transformative powers and abilities, but yeah, like I said, that's if it changed their DNA. But um, I do wish it was a little bit more clear uh, in the show because now I'm left wondering if it actually did change their DNA, and then if it is the case, then Gravit shouldn't have died that easily, in my opinion. And I really hope they also don't really do a 180 in another project and say that oh, he's actually alive, he survived, and he healed. But yeah. And then second, you know, how can they use the abilities of people who may have taken a lot of time to learn how to use their powers and abilities? That's not really explained in the finale, but yeah, that's about it. Peace.